driving doubles start this edition of the week that was. We're driving on as at Newcastle's meeting last Wednesday went to Lockie Manselman and Tom Ison, who drove a double each. This is Tom in action, landing his second winner. Into the straight, it's the ideal dancer in front. Miss Streisand peeled off its back, cruises up to it, dashes to the lead. Very impressive indeed. Miss Streisand, untouched, wins over the ideal dancer. There were more doubles at Tamworth on Thursday as well, and Stacey Wiedemann drove one of them. Win one was courtesy of I Found the Beach, and as you can see here, Stacey's second winner was Conda Few. Conda Few raced to the lead now at the 200 and raced away by about four or five metres over Lorenzo Shannon. It's all over Bartha Shouting because Conda Few coasts in. Conda Few first, Derringer second. Yes, you guessed it. There were driving doubles at Penrith last Thursday too. Todd McCarthy landed one of them while Cameron Hart also drove two winners. The leader is Lucky Artist. In the middle of the track, coming home well is Italian Delight. It's still Lucky Artist. It's packing plenty of power, Lucky Artist. And Lucky Artist is going to win it. Lucky Artist first, Snoop Strider zoomed home on the inside and has probably grabbed the second just in advance there. Amanda Turnbull drove two winners at Bankstown on Friday night, while Noel Hatcher drove his first winner in more than a year. Noel's previous win was with Vienna Boy, and this time he got the cash with Vienna Girl. It's Vienna Girl out after Smoking Zack. Smoking Zack, Kingfisher's raising another effort. Vienna Girl on the outside. Vienna Girl, I reckon got there, Vienna Girl. Rainsman Blake Jones took the driving double honours at June e last Friday. Also at that meeting, talented mayor Million Dollar Gem continued driver Jordan Seary's good run. On the insider, Casino Grin just in front, Million Dollar Gem. She's got a paralysing sprint and she uses it and races to the lead and is going to come away and score a big win. Million Dollar Gem, home and hose. Million Dollar Gem first, Casino Grin second. Miracle Mile winning reinsman Matty Rue drove a treble at Dubbo on Saturday night. This is Matt's third winner on the program, the restaurateur. Moving up on the outside four for the road, may have shifted in slightly and now pushing through in the middle of the restaurateur. The restaurateur, four for the road, four for the road, the restaurateur, they hit it. I'll go for the restaurateur. I think it's just beaten four for the road. Talented pacer Major Dan continued his strong mile record at Menangle on Saturday night. This performance gave Rainsman Todd McCarthy a double at that meeting, shooting him to the top of the Metropolitan Drivers' Premiership. He kicks away now at the 200 metres. He's raced a couple of lengths in front of Raka Roller, chasing home hard on the outside as real stride. But it's Major Dan at the 50, nicely clear from a minute back. My Alpha Rock steams home late, but it's going to be too good for the Major Dan bolts in. Meanwhile, in the trotting ranks, Wardan Destroyer produced this effort and stopped the clock in 154.8, the fastest win by a trotter in Australia this season. Wardan Destroyer leads, blazing under fire on the outsiders, try to cut it down, and they're clear of Barefoot Sally, another good finish coming up, it's Wardan Destroyer, the leader, trying ever so hard as blazing under fire, the favourites pulling out enough with 25 to go and gets in, Wardan Destroyer wins the last beats blazing under fire a half at Menangle on Tuesday, recent Kiwi import Hale Christian impressed on his Australian debut with this performance. He's being aimed for the Chariots of Fire. Now Hale Christian knuckles down quickly, gives Lettuce Firestar the go-by. They were followed by Life on the Beach and here comes Franco Landry starting to steam home down the outside. With it is Lomba Weidel Belief but stealing a bit of a march is Hale Christian and Hale Christian will get in a neat length to Franco Landry and Eye Popper. The fastest win on the program at Newcastle on Tuesday went to Better To Be Tricky who stopped the clock in 156. It's always Amy leading over Better To Be Tricky. It's all Bliss trying to get off their backs. Then Colin Matt Gregor wide down the outside. Scotland Jigs the favourite ran to the lead. Better To Be Tricky in the last little bit. Always Amy trying to fight back. But Better To Be Tricky wins over Always Amy. And that was another edition of the week that was. Thanks for watching.